Now what? We should set course for Contraxia. They bear our issues over a cold catastrophe. I don't hate it, but... We should report what we saw first, right? Because that's our biggest problem, Quill. Come on, Groot, we got Scott to do. Rocket! What's with him? The abomination is never happy. Rocket's got a point, though. Our comms are flarked, the trackers still count him down, and Corel could be anywhere in the universe. <sighs> it's not looking good. We are in the place between hard rocks. You mean a rock in a hard place? That is what I said. Helen knows we could use a night off. So, Contraxia? We should go to nowhere instead. Ah, another suitable location to partake in liberal libations. To report what we saw. Me and Cosmo go way back. He's chief of security. He'll make sure the right people know about the rock. And the tracker and fine? Rocket's got a guy in nowhere. We kill two birds with one stone. Okay. I'll set the coordinates. Maybe... talk to Rocket? Quill, what does killing two birds with one stone signify? It means solving two problems with a single solution. Ha! I knew it! There are no birds on nowhere. Uh, I'm sorry, Drax. I thought paying our fine would make things better, but it just made things more complicated. Do not apologize, Peter Quill. Our encounter with Novacore has given me clarity of purpose. We must investigate and fight whoa, this- Whoa, whoa there, Drax. We ain't fighting Novacore if we can help it. We'll just let Cosmo handle this. The soldiers we encountered were not acting like Novacore officers. And those robed priests, it was all very disturbing. Quill, seriously? Just make it fast, okay? You should be nicer when asking for things, Quill. Time to go. Oh, and, uh, flark you, by the way. Hey, uh, guys? What's up? Nothing at all, Quill. Not a thing. Uh, something wrong with Groot? Nope. He's just, uh, defoliating. Seasonal thing. Come on, I know you're lying. You guys are planning something. What we do ain't none of your business. Can't we just talk about it? Talking ain't worth scut if you don't put your money where your mouth is. Things are gonna get better, I promise. We'll fix it. Just like you promised before Seknarf? Come on, Rocket. What? You gonna tell me I'm a valued member of your crew again? Leave us alone, Quill. So those coordinates? They're in your console. Got it. A 
Assassin! Calm down! I'm just going to the bathroom. I am nowhere here we come. Best black market deals you can find. And surprisingly good noodles. You ever wondered what kind of person found it was like, Oh look! The severed head of a giant celestial being. Let's drill holes in it and live inside. They wanted the brain tissue. Very rare. Very valuable. The marketplace came after. Along with noodles. You are certain this Cosmo is trustworthy, Peter Quill? Of course. He's chief of security. And nowhere. And as such, probably deals with Novacor all the time. Trust me, he's gonna want to know about the rock. What are they doing back there? Shenanigans, likely. See you never, flark bags! Are Rocket and Groot, did they really leave? Yes. It looks like it. Do we know where they went? You're the last one who talked to them. Yeah, Rocket seemed pissed off. Try to behave while we're gone, okay? Maybe when we get back, I'll ask Groot to give you a bath. At least you're still here. I wouldn't want to miss your meeting with Cosmo. You wouldn't know Rocket's tracker-removing guy by any chance. Nope. Sorry. Fine, whatever. We'll talk to Cosmo and then we'll go out and have a good time. Like I said, we go way back. Plus, he's probably already heard about what's happening. All we do is confirm the rumor. Maybe he'll even give us a reward. I suspect the rodent and his tree companion will be drinking somewhere. Where do you get the units to report anything? I do not expect him to take his tab. About them. They left. What am I supposed to do? Chase them down and beg them to come back? You could apologize. That's your advice? The apology does okay. not need to be sincere. I guess if we ever see him again. Big if, by the way. But if it happens, then maybe I might think about it. Anyway, once we let Cosmo know what's happening out there, we'll have more time to think about what to do with Rocket. If Rocket doesn't come back, we'll need a contingency plan for getting rid of the Nova Tracker. Why? We have not yet spent our ill-gotten gains. Hmm. We could still pay the fine. But we'd have to go all the way to New Xandar to do it. What if we get there and it's compromised too? There's gotta be someone shady enough in the market who can help. Maybe. But Cosmo deals with Nova Corps all the time. Maybe we can pay the fine through him. Rocket, where would I be? You are not. He was much shorter and covered in fur. I mean, hypothetically. Then you would have lived a completely different life and your location would be irrelevant. Thanks, Drax. You're welcome. How do we find this Cosmo? We head to his tower on the far side of the market. That's where he keeps an eye on things. Hey there, I need to talk to Cosmo. He in his tower? Should be. You know the way? 
and straight through the market. You can't miss it. Good to see Cosmo again. I guess I kind of miss the old boy. How exactly do you know him? Was he also a prisoner of the Chitauri? Nope, we met right here, back when I was in the Ravagers. Dishonorable killers and thieves. The Ravagers actually did some good during the war. Even the mangiest of mutts will behave. It befits them. Whatever bad stuff we all did is behind us. We're the good guys now. Right, heroes for hire. Except no one will hire us. Maybe Cosmo will have a fetch quest for us or something. We might even come out ahead on this. Keep an eye on your things. These kooks are a bit hands-on, if you know what I mean. There are people who claim to be able to see the future, sure. I've encountered them on several planets. That and walking on two legs. I always imagine aliens would be more alien. I've got enough to worry about with the present. Do you mind? You're making me uncomfortable. Your planetary chakras are very unaligned. <laughs> you must be mistaken. I'm doing great. Uh, okay. I had my fortune told at the fair once. <laughs> Soothsayers on Katath were unable to predict its demise. No one could predict what Thanos would do. Mad Titan will pay for everything that he has destroyed. Ah, I recognize you. A friend of Yondu, is that correct? Stormboard, what it is? Has my inks cleared up that little problem for us? Uh, <laughs> what? I've never needed any elixir. Hello, good sir, whom I have never met before. Is there anything in particular you are looking for? Uh, nope. Just browsing. Places like this were everywhere during the war. Some desperate for answers, others just doing what. <laughs> Nexus, what are you? Do you still have those suicidal urges? What? No. Huh. And you thought joining a team would be bad for you? Hi. Sunlord, right? Is it Rockstar? It's Starlord. Hey, that's right. I forget which version of you I've met. Did you do the thing yet? What is the thing she is referring to? No idea. Hi, I don't know if we've met yet. I'm... No. No, no, no. It's not... Oh. Oh. No, he's lying! I mean... Oh. Where the contact is here? Broken promise of all we meant. Mantis? You okay? Oh, hey, Gamora! You look less depressed. Thanks. Don't worry. It's always weird the first time. Celestial Madonna! Ah. Uh. Hi, guys. You should not be in this place. Actually, I'm exactly where I need to be. <laughs> I think. No. Yes, this is where I need to be. Or needed to be. Am needed, yes. Wait, why are you here? You cannot keep leaving the sanctuary. It's not safe. There are rumblings in the galaxy. <laughs> when aren't there rumblings in the galaxy? <laughs> Yeah. okay. We're gonna keep making that face. 
was nice seeing you again, Gamora. Star guy. Green. Okay, bye. So, Gamora, you and Mantis seem close. We've met. Okay. You're being evasive, woman. Wait, woman? That's the nicest thing you've ever called me. Anyone ever tell you you're an open book? Hardcover or paperback? I just meant Mantis mentioned a few things. Mantis says a lot of things. They don't always make sense. Until they do. That insect woman was odd. I understand you're reluctant. Just... Mantis is strange, but she means well. I think she does, anyway. Don't you start eyeballing me. You seem to know the insect woman, Peter Quill, even if she could not remember your name. Last time I saw her, we were sharing a prison cell, except she said she was there on purpose. Sounds like Mantis. It's a wonder this head hasn't collapsed in on itself yet. Sometimes I think the sleaze is the only thing holding nowhere together. Uh, better sleaze than custom nano resin. I still got some of that stuck in my boots. Hey, you think Mantis has a st- <laughs> Hey, dude! Hi, Groot. Rocket, you can't... Just ignore me! We gotta talk about this! So, you want us to bring them back here? Not necessary. Transport will be waiting once you've captured the target. That'll work. We'll be in touch. Ah, let's go, Groot. What's the big idea, man? I think you got me confused with somebody else, pal. Come on, Rocket, let's talk about this. <laughs> Can you believe this guy? You can't just quit. We need you. Oh, well, uh, I don't need you. Find some other sucker to keep your shit together. You're more than just... I know that blonde mop anywhere. Eat a queer. <laughs> uh, actually, maybe we can stick around for a bit. Last time I see you, you was running away from Mordelia. With your bridges, my friend done. Get ready for a fight. I'm always ready. What the? I don't know what's going on here, but I thought we was friends, Eta. Or did you forget about me? What? What? No, no! Man, who could forget a feast like that? <laughs> oh, this is great. This is bad. This is really bad. Remember, <laughs> Ita, you and me. Starlight, begin activity. What is he talking about? Oh, oh, oh! I I it's a song, right? It is. Of course it's a song. The one that was playing when Peter and me made our unbreakable blood oath. You did? Breakable blood oath? That is a serious commitment, Peter Quill. Oh, no, 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 whoa, whoa, wait, wait, wait. Of course, I, I remember. Y you, me, uh, the, the, the music. Tells you what, Peter. How about you and me? Storm ride together! One more time.
time. Here we go. You uh, going to sing a song? Together till the end, gotta finish the fight. Cause this storm gonna rage till the end of the night. Come on, Lita! Together! Rolling like a hurricane, ride, storm, 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 Very naughty. <laughs> Bartender, get me a cocktail stick. I need to poke my ears out. Come on, man. What? Let's sing the next line. More! Together till the end, now we look to the sky. Lightning strikes twice, now we toss through the fly. Sing with me, Vita. Driving through, through the, the pouring rain. Pouring rain. Ride, Ride the storm. Storm so right Oh, uh, come on. For Flark's sake, let's go, Groot. Good times, good times, good times! You running the Ravagers now? I hear Yonder's doing time in the kill. <laughs> Me? Me? No, I, I got a new crew now. You? Still doing that, uh, thing you do? No, sorry. Novacore. Now my partner on Molivia. Um, but that's okay. I, uh, got a new business partner now. Into animal husbandry, you can say. Uh, so, ain't no animal gonna have no husbands after she's through with them. Which reminds me, I best be going. Oh, really? That's too bad. Ah, uh, well, listen, Vita. I uh, want to apologize for almost shooting you. Oh, <laughs> you weren't actually gonna shoot me. Oh, I would have uh, right in the head. Oh. But that's not the way to treat a storm rider, is it? Right, so. I got you this instead. Uh, what is it? The ticket for Collector's Emporium. Yeah, I bought it thinking I'd have time to go and check out the oddities. Wow, thanks, man. That's awesome. Yeah, my pleasure. And remember, Nice one, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Could have been worse. Where's Rocket? The rodent left the bar once he realized he would not be killed. Uh, great. Those small ghosts hanging around. Something is making them come back. I've seen some crazy things, but ghosts? <laughs> I doubt it. Have a moment. Don't tell the others and I slit your throat. And there she is. They're too cynical for me. You want to know a secret? I'm just an illusion, a specter. I'm not really here. I couldn't tell. You look real enough to me. 
You want to know another secret? Something big is happening. Something great. Do you want to hear about it? If you're trying to con me into buying you around, it's not gonna work. This place brings back memories. I'm telling you. You mean hangovers? Yep. Last time we were here, that Sakarn was no pushover. I can still taste those fermented spike eggs you made me try. Oh, remind me. <clears throat> I need to leave. Uh, something wrong? It's not your business, Peter Quill. Do not wait for me. What was that? Drax! Watch it, Star Lord! Watch yourself, jerky red guy! Can you believe that? Talk to Cosmo alone. That Emporium was. Pew! 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 Bandit. Hard to say, but it looks like it's almost ready to pay out. Okay, one game. The lemons, the lemons. Yes! Oh, purple! That's a jackpot! Woo! Uh, why are you paying out? Little error. Please contact local. Ah, oh, crap! You gotta be fucking kidding me! You must have a good nose. All I can smell is the brains. Trying to keep it on the straight and narrow. We are hiring on the mining face if you're looking for work. Someone's gotta keep this place up and running. Got a job, thanks. Fix up the Milano, give the team a huge bonus. Are you ready to buy the jackpot? 
of a lifetime? How do I know if I win? You are encouraged to return to nowhere to verify your ticket. After verification, and an excessive verification fee, the jackpot will be transferred to your account. I'll take one. Here you are. Make fortune smile on you. More than she smiles on me. All right. Guess I'll be seeing you in a few rotations. With any luck, sir. With any luck. Good for you. Bad for me. Battery tickets. Battery tickets. Curse oh, that's serious. Make sure you don't cause any trouble. You won't get any special treatment, Terry. You're wrong about that. Me and Cosmo understand each other. Don't mind me. I'm just looking for my last ticket. Welcome to the Emporium. Ah, oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. You, lucky traveler, have arrived at the illustrious Emporium. Private collection of Tanalir Tivan, the premier, premier, premier exhibit of wonders in the galaxy. Most would hoard these treasures, but not Mr. Tivan. He is so, so, so generous. He wishes to share them with the common people. Would you, do you like to take the tour? I'd love a tour. Oh. I have this. I think I get in for free, right? Oh my! You must be a very important person. Mr. Tivon does not give these out very, very, very often. Please enjoy the Emporium. Enjoy the wonders of the Emporium. Kinda neat. Interesting. No way! How'd they get that? I don't get it. Fancy! No way! Oh, cool! Welcome to the Emporium Gift Shop. Huh, interesting. Kinda neat. Fancy. Get it. No way. How'd they get that? Dude, no way. Oh, cool. Commemorate your visit with a unique souvenir. Uh, hey there. Greetings. I hope you enjoyed the Emporium. Would you like to purchase a souvenir? We have some very unique items. Maybe. What kind of things do you sell? Replicas of very rare items. Figures and effigies from lost civilizations. Objets d'art, in other words. 
Figures. Like dolls? There's a member of my crew, a woman, who might like that kind of thing. A boorish person might call them dolls. But that is neither here nor there. Tell me more about this person. She, uh, also likes swords. Oh, not what does she like. What is she like? Oh, distant and tough. But I think maybe there might be some squishy bits in her somewhere. Ah, I believe I have the perfect item. What do you think? Would you like to make a purchase? It's just the right kind of creepy. She should love it. A magnificent choice. I presume you will forgo the silk gift wrap. Yeah, this is fine as is. Very well. Enjoy your purchase. Good day. they get that? Fancy. Neat. This is a place to forget your troubles. Got one thing left to do, and then I plan on doing some serious forgetting. If I see you again later, I'll buy you a drink. Hmm. It's a date. How's that smell? Hey there. Look at you, barely skin and bones. Moping your way through the market. Better have a hot bite, it'll make you feel better. So, you hungry or what? No, thanks. I filled up on protein paste earlier. Oh, the required daily nutrition? None of the flavor. You won't catch me eating beige. I'll be here all rotation if you change your mind. Water, 
lousy panel got overloaded. There should be scorch marks. thing that can heal pain is time. I hope Cosmo's in the office. Bridge closed. Go away. Doesn't look closed. Sisu. Nowhere security. Super official. Go other way, Ali. Ali. I really need to see Cosmo. Cosmo, not in tower. He out there, Star Lord, in Ali. Wait. How did you know my name? Go, or end up in Cosmo prison. You choose. Cosmo! You in here? Cosmo! Sure, not weird at all. Cosmo is definitely somewhere in this maze of rotting brain matter. Okay, just gotta find Cosmo, then I can deal with the team, if I can find them. I'm afraid, Peter Quill. I'm a brute and near invincible. I fear nothing. You, however, will perish in this maze. Cosmo? That you? Oh, I hate mazes. Especially stinking brain mazes. Okay, dude. Deep breath. Deep breath. Fucking Hume. Bet you end up inside one of them processing machines. Fork! Give myself a heart attack.
got here. Watch it, Star-Lord. And what's a filthy scut-stained Terran doing out here, Rawson? Hiding's what I think, Garrick. Aye. Terrans always be hiding. Cause everybody knows Terrans are scrawny. And good for eating. Uh, if you're into that. We might be into that. Except for the bounty. Hey, hey guys. Wouldn't happen to know where Cosmo's office is, would you? I get the distinct feeling that you're looking for someone of the Earth persuasion. <laughs> I get it, man. I get it. Us Earthers, we all look the same. It's not like you guys who very clearly look different. Get to the point, Terran. The point is, is I can help you find who you're actually looking for. Terrans do all look the same. Except this Terran's got a word on his back. Just like the bounty says. What's that word on your back say? The... Uh... I heart nowhere. Hmm. Well, maybe it says Star Lord. Either way, get him. We've been hired to clobber some Terran with words on his jacket. Uh, 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 lots of people have jackets. Yeah, but you're the one, the lady one. Wait, the lady ace want him alive? Dead. <laughs> uh, lady H, whatever Lady Hellbender's paying you, I'll double it. No dice. You don't cross Lady H. Uh, the triple. Uh, I'll, I'll triple it. Yeah, now, right. Anybody think to bring refreshments? He's trying to weasel out of a beast. Guys, this is a big misunderstanding. That's how we make our unit. Get crushed, Terran. Okay, okay, okay. Yep, yeah, yeah, time out. Woo! Heart is pumping. <laughs> Guys, it's very clear that we're evenly matched. Ha! No, we ain't. We're completely invincible. Oh, well, that sucks, but we're all professionals here, right? Right? Maybe we can work something out. Peter! Shoot now! We need to keep them separated! Draw them apart before shooting, Peter!
be sick. It's about these zombies that invade Earth, and then it's up to these kids that have to blow them away. Of course you would remember that, and then I ask you if you packed your lunch and you give me a blank stare. I'll be careful, Mom. I always am. Not so fast. Before you go, there's something I want to talk to you about, something I want to give you. Twenty bucks? Don't push it. Think of it as a long overdue gift from your father. It's upstairs on my bed. Go on and get it while I finish up in the kitchen. And we can open it together. I knew you wouldn't wait. Do you know what a birthright is, Peter? It's something that's a part of you. Like your name. Before your father returned to space... Ugh, Mom... I know it sounds crazy and that you've never believed me, but... something has changed. And now, more than ever, you need to trust me. And maybe this will help. Whoa. Easy there, cowboy. These belong to your father. I used to think he left these for our protection. But they might as well be paperweights. Still, if they're enough to convince you of who he really was, then maybe they're protection enough. Protection from what? Your father wasn't just from another planet, Peter. He was... He was important. And important men have enemies. What do you mean, important? He was king of an entire world called Spartax, far, far away. And he was a great leader. And the way you look after people, Peter, I know you're going to be just like him. But leading is never easy. Your father left to protect us. And for 13 years it worked. But now something's coming. I know we're being watched. Mom, if you really wanted to play a game that bad, you could have just said so. I hope I'm wrong, Peter. I really do. But being the son of a king on any planet means that you are going to have a target on your back for the rest of your life. And you're plenty brave. But you're gonna have to be smart, too. Things may get messy. I'm gonna let Kubrick out. I'll be right back.
could he help? Invaders from outer space? They must be here for you, sir. Please, run! Oh, my God. 